Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this snowflake and asked how they could pell it to cut the center out first. But there's there's a lot more problems to the snowflake than meets the eye. If you zoom in a lot, the nodes aren't even connected. Uh, whoever drew this uh, took individual lines. Uh, you could work on this and maybe fix it. I mean, one way to get rid of the nodes, and the person already kind of suggested that what he did, he used the boundary tool. And the boundary tool is going to close up those nodes, but there's still jagged edges and sharp edges because there's so many nodes, and these nodes are actually converted to lines. So if we take those nodes and right-click and convert them to a curve, you could cost, possibly delete a lot of the nodes but you would be, it's still not perfect. And you'd have to do that on 45 of them because they're eight times five. So let's just get rid of that and see they're broken lines. So let's group this thing together for a minute, control G and put it in the center of the page. And also your offset, if you've been watching some of my, and I'm gonna change it to inches just so I'm more familiar. So when you're unclicked on something, you can change it to inches. You see your 0.25, which is, you know, when I'm going to show you why you want it on zero. I'm a big fan of that. It would be easier just to redraw this guy. I'm going to, I'm going to change your, your drawing in CMYK. So I'm going to double click this. I'm going to change your artistic text or artistic text. Change your your graphic to red, and also if you're a laser engraver, since you say you want to cut it out, you really need to be using RGB, and we're going to change it to red, and we're going to change it to a hairline. Because if you're going to cut it out, you might as well cut it out as a vector at first. So we're going to grab this shape right here. And we're going to draw a rectangle. It's going to snap to that rectangle. And we're going to make it about that long, about as long as we can make it. Then just drag this up to the top and drag this one pretty close to the center. Actually try to get a little bit past the center. Now with our rounding off corners unlocked, we can change the top two nodes. We're going to go six and six to get that rounded shape. And I'm actually gonna go, let's go, well, I, do, I did go seven. Let's go eight and eight, make a pretty good, perfect circle. And you notice I'm drawing in red. The original is black. If the original was red, I could draw in black. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate of this drawing and change it to about that size. I'm gonna can I'm gonna change it to a I'm gonna rotate it to a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna move it to there and we might be a little bit long and we are so I'm gonna put it back to zero because it's so much easier to make it shorter when it's like this now we're gonna rotate it 45 degrees and Sometimes you have trouble snapping and stuff like this. So I'm gonna, your nudge factor isn't too bad, it's 0 0.01. I'm gonna click on it and I'm just gonna nudge it up. Now, I'm gonna set my object origin to there and see if it works. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. And then I'm gonna mirror it. You got it pretty close. The drawing's not perfect, but I'm gonna move it a little closer. And then we can use our nudge factor to get it pretty much dead on. Now I can grab both these, control D and make a duplicate of them and just move them down those other two. One of them's a little bit off, but we could make it like that. Now I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna change my nudge factor. This thing is four inches. I'm gonna change my nudge factor to five. I'm gonna grab the black one and I'm gonna nudge it out of the way. I'm gonna grab these two shapes and I'm gonna weld them. 
Now I'm going to put this back into the picture and I'm going to select them both. Why don't you have to do that? Because it's already kind of in the center. So let's just move that one back out of the back out of the way. And let's bring in an indexing line. Hit P as as in Peter. Actually, my line's a little bit long, but I think it's going to work. And also, it didn't weld real good right here. But for the video, that's good enough. Uh, I would fix that. Well, let's just fix it real quick. Get a... Um, you know, it, you got to think about it as a snowflake. I would just change the, the exact same one of both of them. So that's a little better. It's got an extra node right there. Probably don't need. Extra node right there. We probably don't need. I'd go ahead and do this before you make duplicates. It's not going to really matter. So I'm going to control D. And then I'm going to move my rotation to that center right there. A lot of times, always, it doesn't look like it's in the center, but it is. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Control D, rotate it 90 degrees. Control D, Control D. Well, I didn't make a duplicate. I actually need to make it 180. I didn't make a duplicate again. Sorry about that. Control D, Control D, Control D. I must have been hitting the wrong button. Trying to watch the screen and talk and then remove our indexing lines. And then I'm going to draw a circle about the size of that circle. That's close enough for the video. And I'm going to hit P. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to weld it. We've got that exact snowflake and then I'm going to hit P. I'm going to put a center hole in it. Now that was his main question at first. But if we look at the nodes on the first one and see they're broken up and there's hundreds of them. On the new one, there's only three nodes. One, two, three. It's actually not a perfect round surface, but it'll work. Now let's get rid of the old one. And his question was to make sure he's cut out this first. So go to Windows and Dockers and open up Object. In, in 2019, they moved it down here. It used to be called Object Manager and open up this page and you see the ellipse and the curve. On an epilogue laser, because I can't speak for all lasers, it's going to start at the bottom and walk, uh, cut up. So it's going to cut the outside first. To cut the inside first, just left click on that and just move it to the bottom. Now the ellipse is going to cut out first. And that's only in case your bed is warped or uh, you've got other problems with your bed and it falls. The whole piece won't fall before it cuts out that center. When it cuts out that center, it's not going to fall, but then when it cuts out this, it'll fall. Anyway, I hope that answered his question a little bit, and thank you for watching.